Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Uh, I'm Kelly Mosquera Roa. I'm 17 years old and I come from Murcia, Spain. So the video of today that I'm doing is for the video production and design program for my uh, George Brown College here in Canada. And today I'm going to talk about my favorite movie. So the favorite movie that I love, it's a Christian movie. First of all, I'm going to tell you uh, like a trailer, like a resume on how, like what the movie is about. So this movie is about one young boy and his name is John Smith. This boy uh, has adopted parents because his parents like didn't uh, want him at the first time. Uh, so this family, like the parents of him, they were Christians. They believe in God, they had faith in God and everything. But this boy wasn't so much in, like he wasn't so much like a believer like them because obviously he was adopted and it wasn't his real parents. So this young boy, I uh, used to play basketball in the school. I think it was high school. Yeah, he wasn't so happy of his life Because he felt that he needed his to know like his past of his real parents He didn't obey so much his mother his father He was a very rebellion guy and he wanted to do whatever he he wanted to do This family was loved very loved by everyone by their neighbors um by the school, by the job, like everyone loved the family. But this kid had that problem that he wanted to know about his past. One day, uh, John Smith was walking with uh, two friends that he had, and it was a winter time. So he went. They went to a frozen lake, and they were playing. You know, they were like running and walking, and obviously that was very dangerous. So one neighbor saw them and told them that they had they had to like to leave because they were going to fall or something was going to happen because this guy he wanted to do whatever he he wanted right uh, at one moment uh he was like i don't know if he was running or jumping but uh the lake just broke like the frozen lake and uh the the guy the john smith he went into the water obviously it was cold it was very very cold and the uh, two friends were running and called the ambulance. The neighbor was running and he called the ambulance, the police. So all of the all of them came. And two of the rescuers, they went to save the, the guy who was in the water. He was like for about 15 minutes in the frozen water. So they were looking for the guy and they were doing the impossible to look for that guy. But um, one of the one of the rescuers. Uh, he was like almost giving up on that because he was thinking okay Maybe he's this kid is dead because the dead like the lake is frozen and, and I don't find anything but he heard a voice and He heard something that was telling him like go back and he was like he, he didn't understand at that moment He was thinking that someone behind him was calling him, but he looked behind and no one was calling him so he obeyed to that voice and he went back to the place like to the like it was a hole right so he went back to the place when he went back he found that guy he found the boy he was a very very bad condition and when they left that kid was very like he was in a very he was very bad he was almost like he was in coma uh the mother had faith that his kid was going to um wake up but the rest of the people didn't think of that. They didn't have faith that God could do someone to wake up because he's just like in coma. He was like very bad. So the people around her were like, you know, were like talking and were like saying like, mm, you know, this woman is crazy. His boy is not going to wake up. She just, she is the one that has to wake up because, because that's impossible, you know. The mother had faith and didn't pay attention to the voices that were saying that that she had to give up and one day obviously the boy woke up and the mother was like rejoicing himself she was saying like thank you lord for this miracle because it was an impossible but not impossible for you lord so i really like this movie this is like the trailer overall uh there are so many things in the movie and i know that when i'm saying this when i'm talking this movie it 
doesn't sound like a very very good movie but it is like you should watch it it's a very really like i, I really like this movie i like um the woman because she had faith uh, even the people around her they didn't have the hope that he was gonna wake up so i really love the movie i really love like uh talking about you know the cinematic things i love how they recorded like the actors and the actress were very very good i love how they express them how they express themselves so if you want to watch a very emotional movie i should recommend you like this movie is a really good movie but before finishing this video um i want to say that the guy like at the end of the movie he didn't find out about his past he was very worried about that the thing that the good thing is that he changed his mind because he didn't he didn't know what he had around him he had a family he had friends he had school he had a house he had something to eat so at the end of the movie we see that he could value value it what he had his family the love of his family even if his real parents um, didn't care about him he cared about the now and not the past and I think that this movie uh, brings that because it's like you don't have to worry about the past or the future you have to worry about the now what you have now and you have to take care about everything you have and you have to uh, live your life and not hate it because you know not everyone can live right now now everyone is dying and because of this um, problem that we had in these years um you know it was very a very difficult time so i really recommend this movie and that's why i really love it because it gives me like a real like you know it gives me more faith in in me faith in god and hope that everyone will be all right someday so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I hope it wasn't too long, but yeah, I wanted to say like a, a trailer of it because I wanted to explain you how the movie was about. But yeah, I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye.